Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and uh, today's discussion I could possibly not be for you. Uh, you have read the title, uh, and uh, if you have a passionate position on either which end and are not interested in uh, discussing it, uh, this may not be the video for you, but hopefully uh, it is and uh, we could move forward. Uh, and I'm going to tie this into books, reading, and literature as well. Uh, uh, throughout 2019, uh, a 16-year-old uh, a uh, Swedish girl by the name of uh, Greta Thunberg uh, has really picked up attention uh, for her uh, activism, uh, discussion, and participation in, on the topic of uh, environmentalism, uh, better environmental practices, warnings about climate change, and the, the issues that have taken place within these categories and uh, what needs to be done in order to reverse them. Uh, she especially picked up attention back in September when she was uh, uh, talking at the UN's uh, summit for uh, climate ch change discussion, and she was known for her uh, what has been deemed as an angry reply. And uh, the response that she got was very mixed, which has developed a very, uh, it, it's developed uh, a great reflection on uh, uh, both political sides. And that, I feel, is not the direction that uh, we should be taking. I think that the uh, political response is going the same way that so many other issues in politics, and especially uh, American politics, is concerned. Uh, first, I want to talk about who uh, Greta Thunberg is. Uh, uh, Greta Thunberg is a uh, 16-year-old Swedish girl. Uh, she'll be 17 on January 3rd. Uh, she has Asperger syndrome as well as OCD and selective mutism. Uh, she does come from a well-to-do prolific family. Uh, her mother was an opera singer, but uh, Greta was able to uh, talk her out of uh, engaging in that profession because the uh, flying that was required uh, was uh, uh, an environmentally hurtful practice. Uh, her father is an actor. Her grandfather is a film director. And her younger sister is a singer. So the Thunberg family uh, is re somewhat prolific in Sweden. Uh, so it wasn't like uh, Greta Thunberg uh, came to fame uh, immediately uh, just suddenly, so uh, it's pretty much the equivalent to the platform that Miley Cyrus has in America. Her her dad, Billy Ray Cyrus, uh, was a one-hit wonder with Achy Breaky Heart back in 1992. So it's somewhat similar, but at the same time, uh, Toon, uh, Greta is using her fame in a different light. Greta's uh, major mission is to uh, bring about the issue of uh, climate change and uh, environmentally hurtful practices and uh, use the uh, knowledge and research that she has in order to back up her arguments uh, pertaining to the uh, her concerns and what should be the concerns of uh, those across the globe. 
the way that people have responded have been mixed. Uh, if we want to get uh, politically forward, it seems like the left loves her mission and the right dismisses her as being uh, uh, angry and uh, they have made remarks about... I know that there have there's people that have made remarks about her having a mental illness and being a brat and uh, being uh, just uh, angry and uh, almost as if she's taking a tantrum. And I feel that those statements are disgraceful. I think that there's a a great there's a there's a great lack of understanding and empathy within those. And while you may not agree with the position and the execution that Greta's taking, uh, to go after her character and her condition is just wrong. If you want to go, if you want to go after uh, something that you do not necessarily agree with, that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, if you can be constructive about it and uh, take that position, then you have that uh, ability to uh, engage in a necessary debate on the topic. And if you have the solutions, uh, that's even better. But there are areas that uh, uh, Greta Thunberg needs to really uh, uh, watch out for. Uh, one thing that's worth mentioning is that uh, Greta Thunberg uh, won the, or she was named Time Magazine's uh, Person of the Year, which it doesn't uh, necessarily mean that they are their it's not that they are the best person of the year. It's that they're the most important person of the year. Uh, this is a title that was uh, given to the Silence Breakers in 2017, to Donald Trump in 2016, to you in 2006 when YouTube first made a big break. Uh, but... Uh, uh, Greta Thunberg really uh, did exemplify uh, bringing attention to the topic of uh, climate change. And whether you uh, agree or disagree, uh, she really, uh, she has really uh, gotten people to respond. And I think that this is uh, Time Magazine's mission. But I think that there needs to be uh, caution proceeded because uh, like so many issues uh, and especially in uh, the United States uh, Greta Thunberg can very easily and she's going in the and the topic of her is going in the direction of her becoming a political chess piece and that is not right and I hope that I think that uh, Greta is very much uh, set with her ways and passionate about uh, her uh, interests and uh, areas that uh, she's not going to cave into the uh, political missions, but still there is the sense that uh, leftist politics uh, may claim her to be their own and uh, politicize her message and her mission. And that is not a good thing because I feel that uh, if everything is to go correctly uh, Greta can become Greta can be a unifier 
where her message and her mission brings people together, brings about awareness, and really makes forward progress into uh, responding to our environmental issues and uh, preventing uh, climate change from being disastrous to uh, the living organisms of this world. And I think that if that becomes the core element to uh, Greta's uh, mission, I think that she can really be an impactful person on all fronts. And I think that uh, in order to do this, uh, Greta should continue to trust her intuition and use the knowledge that she has acquired to uh, just keep going forward because this is only the beginning. I think she can acquire more and more knowledge, do more and more research, and display more and more information uh, throughout her speeches, as well as uh, through various examples uh, as well. I know that there has been uh, speculation as to whether or not her, uh, her information has been accurate or correct. I think as far as the uh, general knowledge and the uh, facts and statistics are concerned, uh, I would take her word for what she has to say because uh, being an Aspergian myself, uh, she's not the kind of person that wants or is able to accept being incorrect. I think that if she's caught incorrect one time, it's not going to leave her mind. I know that uh, me, myself, uh, with presidential uh, trivia, if I'm incorrect once, I never forget it. I know that uh, there was a question about uh, the uh, whether or not uh, there was a president that was elected uh, unanimously. And I was stumped on that one occasion. Uh, the correct, uh, I said it never happened, but it did. Uh, and that was George Washington in his second term. But I'll never forget it. And I think that with uh, Greta, I think that if there's something that stumps her, I think that she's, what she is saying is something that's engraved in her mind. And I feel that uh, on that note, she is being, uh, she's, the information that she's giving is correct. And she wants people to know this so that they can uh, follow suit. I think that the, uh, the greatest challenge and hurdle to uh, Greta Thunberg is the fact that she uh, she's very vague and broad as far as uh, solutions are concerned. Uh, she has been very direct and informative as far as problems are concerned, but when it comes to solutions, uh, that has been a greater challenge. Uh, she was on a panel of other uh, young activists, and uh, when she was presented with a somewhat simple question, uh, it caused her to pause and then ha uh, offer somebody else to uh, answer the question instead, and it made for a very awkward situation. She also... Uh, did a collaboration video with uh, someone by the name of George uh, Monbiot. And it was a pretty good video. Well, that's probably one of the closest, uh, one of the, the more uh, constructive areas, uh, or one of the more constructive projects that she has engaged. Uh, but 
I still wish that she engaged in more solutions uh, in her speeches and in her uh, activism and in her practices. Uh, these can be uh, uh, more uh, long-term solutions or even short-term simple solutions. Uh, I, I know that she does not like to, uh, she engages in uh, environmentally friendly uh, practices as far as transportation is concerned. Uh, she sailed over to uh, America. Uh, it took two weeks, but she felt that that was more important. Uh, she has adopted a, a vegan diet. It would be interesting for her to talk about uh, what kind of uh, food she likes to eat because I know that there's uh, a lot of people that have talked about going vegan or wanting to go vegan. And if this is something that she's passionate about, uh, she should share uh, tips and uh, meals and recipes that she would suggest. Uh, of course, I think that the way that she goes about the solutions should be the way that she wants to do it. I don't think it should be influenced, but I think that it would be it would just be interesting for uh, her to engage in a more uh, casual atmosphere as far as the uh, topic of uh, better environmental practices are concerned. Uh, her solutions have primarily uh, been, on the broader sense, trust the scientists. That has led me to uh, the uh, topic of how books, reading, and literature tie into uh, uh, Greta Thunberg, who uh, recently came out with a uh, uh, with a book of her speeches uh, uh, published in English, and her memoir is going to be published in English, uh, which will be something to uh, keep an eye out for. I think it's going to really uh, pick up attention. But I personally feel that she should guest edit uh, an anthology of science and nature writing. I've been engaged in the uh, consumption of uh, reading the Best American series, and I read the uh, 2016 and 2017 uh, Best American Science and Nature writing. Uh, the 2016 was guest edited by Amy Stewart, and 2017's was guest edited by Hope Jaron. Uh, of course, it's going to be the, the thing about the best American science and nature writing is uh, Thunberg, uh, Greta is, Greta is Swedish, so if the uh, major requirement is to be uh, an American citizen, that may serve as a challenge, but you have so many different options, too. Uh, they could do a special edition. I'm sure that a uh, hop, uh, Hofton, Mifflin, uh, Harcourt could put a very special edition together of uh, science and nature writing that Greta Thunberg uh, has selected to be anthologized. Uh, they can also uh, have it so that she does this, be it on, a Nash, on an, an American level or even on a global level, of uh, articles written on the topic of environmentalism and climate change that Thunberg thinks will uh, help people understand uh, the issues better and in a clearer light. And I think that putting together a collection of 20 or so articles would really, uh, 
it would really be interesting to uh, see how these reflect uh, uh, Greta's thoughts and the direction that she feels uh, we need to go in order to make this planet a better place. Uh, and if she really wants, and if she can uh, hook up with somebody, uh, she can uh, make this an ongoing thing, uh, kind of like uh, Ellen Datlow's Year's Best Horror. Uh, if Greta Thunberg can get a deal with a publisher, uh, she can uh, do an annual Year's Best Science and Nature writing. Uh, and if she does it on the global level, that would be quite something. Uh, uh, it would probably it would need to be translated uh, mutually, yeah, but that can be done in uh, so many formats throughout so many uh, different countries. You just need the uh, the proper lineup of translators. I think that most importantly, uh, we need to realize we need to come to the uh, term that whether or not you agree or disagree with the uh, stance and or with with the execution of Greta Thunberg's actions she means well in what she is doing uh, this is something that she's passionate about, and it means the world to her. And ultimately, what she wants to do is ultimately going to make uh, a positive impact on uh, what it is, uh, a positive impact on uh, the environmental state of our world. And uh, I think that even her uh, expressing her uh, knowledge, her message, her emotion, getting people to act in their own way is a step in the right direction. And I feel that if uh, Greta is able to succeed in her way and on her platform without any jaded influence on either side, I think that she can do remarkable things. And I think that she can certainly make this world a better place. And I hope that she has the opportunity. I hope she engages in that. And I hope that she brings people together I hope that she uses her knowledge, her practices, her passion, and is able to develop solutions in order to uh, actively make our world uh, a better place. And I personally feel that uh, her being able to guest edit an anthology of science and nature writing, or even putting something together so that uh, she does it on her own uh, terms and her own format uh, would be a great thing. And uh, to respond to something that she has said about her Asperger syndrome, Asperger's is absolutely positively a superpower. And I could say that from experience. Thank you for tuning into this video, and for now, keep reading.